I want you to write these three M's for making money down. Three M's for making money. How many of y'all are ready to receive these three M's? Maybe everybody don't want them. But if you're here and you're listening to it, perhaps you want them because you don't want to just change one area of your life. You want to change every area of your life. And you know just as well as I know that the area of your financial life is connected to almost every other area of your life. There are so many things that we do on a daily basis, on a regular basis, in every area of our lives that's directly connected to and associated with our finances, our money, our cash flow. And that's one of the reasons why I am traveling around this entire country to as many cities, to as many areas as I possibly can. And I'm going to be teaching these free creative cash flow classes to help you create strategies for your own personal financial freedom, to build wealth for you and your family so that you, your family, and those that are connected to you can have a sustainable legacy. Let me give you these three things very quickly. The three M's for making money. If you're taking notes, I want you to write them down. There are three things you need. Three M's, that is, for making money. I'll give you the first one. Number one, you need a mentality. I want you to write that down. You need a mentality. Now, I know that might sound very vague. It might sound uh, uh, theological or philosophical, but it's actually practical. You may not think that it's practical or tactical like uh, giving you a job or like giving you a product or service to go sell to make money. But the first M for making money is you need a mentality. You need a mentality. Why is that important? Because you've got to believe that having money or at least having enough money, possessing the, the necessary cash flow is relative to or beneficial for what you want to accomplish in your life. Because if you have the mentality that you are comfortable the way you are, and you don't really have to have a whole lot to be happy. You're probably, number one, lying to yourself, but you're probably lying to yourself because at some point in your life, you're at a certain place financially. And see, I have to shape your mentality. But in order for me to shape your mentality, at least the new mentality, I have to shake you out of the old mentality. So the first M for making money, if you really want to make money, if you really want to experience financial freedom, if you really want to uh, possess cash flow, you want to secure the bag, you want to come up a little bit, you don't want to struggle, you don't want to go through what you go through every day of every week of every month or every year, the first M for making money is you need a mentality. If you're taking notes, I want you to write that down to yourself. If I'm going to make money, I need a mentality. Because see, your mentality is the bank of your mind. Okay? If you can understand that. Your mentality is the bank of your mind. I'll say it again. Your mentality is the bank of your mind. So how many times can you go to a bank and make a withdrawal without making a deposit before, before your bank account has insufficient funds? How many times can you write a check? Can you swipe that debit card before you are declined because you're continuing to make withdrawals, but you're never making deposits? All right. This is why the first M for making money is you need a mentality because your mentality is the bank of your mind. So all of the information that you have ever learned about money, all of the lies that people told you that it don't take money for you to do certain things in life. And a lot of these are just excuses we use because the truth is, if we could have more money, we would take more money 
because we know it's not the money that's necessarily going to change us for the worse. It's just going to expose how bad we actually are. So when you have been fed the wrong information about money, the wrong understanding about money, the wrong application for the money that you do possess, your mentality becomes the bank to hold on to the insufficient funds of what you believe about money. So you've got to shape your mind and put more truth and more information about what you know to be true to you concerning money in your mental bank. You got to make the decision that I want more. You got to make the commitment that I'm going to do what I got to do to get more. And you got to feed yourself with information. That means you can't be around people who are always talking negative about money. Because you know they're just using that talk as an excuse for what they don't have and for what they're unwilling to make a decision to be committed to get. All right? So the first M for making money is you need a mentality. You got to get your mind right. And it starts with you making a decision to get committed about getting the bag up, securing the bag, and doing better for yourself. Because again, even, even if you're not in a place or in a position right now where you can just instantaneously make money, it's not something that you're trying to do with your hands as much as it's something you have to do with your head. You got to be able to wrap your mind around the possibilities that are endless for you to get whatever you need to have a solid, stable financial life. So number one, you need a mentality. All right. Number two, the second M for making money is you need a motive. You need a motive. The second M for, for, for making money is you need a motive. Now, your motive is not your mentality. Your motive is the base or the starting point of your motivation. See, you can't have motivation if you don't have a motive, right? You can't have motivation if you don't have a motive. But your motive is the base or the starting point of your motivation. So all you did in your mentality was you made a decision to get committed about the money you know you want to make. So you got to get rid of all this thinking, thinking about, oh, I ain't going to just be chasing after the dollar and, and, and money is the root of all evil, which that's not what the Bible says anyway. Uh, it is the, the love of money or the negative uh, aff affection and affinity that you have for money that takes precedence over your love and affection for God. That is the root of all evil or it opens the door for you to do things that you shouldn't do and to become a person that you shouldn't become. So the bottom line is you got to have a mentality. You got to have a desire to make a commitment and you got to make that decision to commit to the, to the truth that in order for you and your family to be sustained, in order for you to leave your children something, in order for you to be able to help your mother, in order for you to be a blessing to your church, in order for you to see to it that you can serve your community, it's going to require a whole lot of things. But one of the things it's going to require is what? It's going to require money. So you need a mentality. Once you have that mentality, your mentality it breeds the right motive because now with the mentality, watch this, you get rid of excuses and you adopt reasons. Oh, that was so good. I hope you caught it. Don't wait till Sunday afternoon to catch what I just said. I said, when you have a mentality and it's solid, you are now able to build a foundation or a base and a starting point for your motive or your motivation. Because you finally get to a point in your life where you get rid of excuses and you, and you adopt more reasons. See, most people don't have what they really want because they have exchanged reasons for excuses. Right? So every time you talk to certain people, they always have an excuse. Well, I can't do this because of that. 
Well, I'm not going to be able to do that because of this. Well, I would go there, but this came up. I would say yes, but I'm dealing with a no. In other words, at some point in their lives, they adopted the first M negatively, which is a mentality. They adopted a negative mentality. And as a result of adopting that negative mentality, let me show you what they did. They got a negative motive. And now they have no reason to move forward. They have no reason to make a decision to be committed to something to better, better themselves and to better their families and their communities or their churches, whoever it is that they want to help and make better. Because now they don't have reasons. They only have excuses. I'm going to give you an example. I mentioned this last night in our cash flow uh, class here uh, in Morrow, Georgia. Uh, I was leaving my office here in Buckhead and... Traffic was crazy yesterday. I mean, it probably took me about a good hour and a half to get from Buckhead to Morrow, Georgia, which when it ain't no traffic, it might be a good 25 minute drive. It literally took me an hour and a half. Now, for me, I'm, I'm in Atlanta. I work in Atlanta. I'm all, always around Atlanta. My wife and I we're in real estate. We drive around. We drive people around. Being in Atlanta's traffic is nothing for me. I, I, it's just no big deal because we already have our mindsets or we have the mentality. That's the first M. We've got the mentality that it might take you 30 minutes to get five miles down the road. We used to it. I've been living here for 16 years. It's just it's second nature to me. But here's what my point is. When we when we finally got to the class. And we started teaching the class. We 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 probably we probably got five or ten minutes into the conversation, and we started talking about excuses and reasons. And I shared with them what I want to share with you right now in terms of your mentality and your motive, and how your mentality shapes your motive because your motive is your base or your starting point. For your motivation. And here is what I said to them. I could have came up with an excuse and turned around and said, the traffic is too hectic. We don't, we don't, we don't, we, we don't, we don't have this kind of time. We got too much going on. We'll just reschedule it and call the people that are coming and let them know we're going to do it another day. But I had too many reasons to keep going in that traffic. Because I wasn't concerned about the traffic. What I was concerned about, who was going to be there and get something from the class that I was teaching. So the first M for making money is you need a mentality. Stop fooling yourself. And if you ain't fooling yourself, please don't let no, nobody fool you into thinking that you're going to make money when you don't have a mentality for making money. And... I'm a preacher, so I'll be the first one to say wrong with you. Don't let people make you think that is something wrong with you because you have a mentality for making money. See, I want to have more because I want to help more. There are too many people who depend on me to make money for me to not have a mentality to make money. My family depends on me. My children depends on me. My church depends on me. My community depends on me. See, I have so many reasons why I am, I am motivated to make money. And it's not because I want to just have more. It's because I want to help more. But in the process of helping more, I have more because I'm always blessed to be a blessing. So the first M for making money is you need a mentality. The second M for making money is you need a motive. You need a motive. You got to get rid of excuses and you got to find reasons. Why do you want to make a hundred thousand a year? Why do you wish to be debt free? Why do you want to have good credit? Now, if all of your reasons are just selfish reasons, then it may not be enough for you to be motivated. But this is what I want you to do. I want you to pull up on your tablet, if you got one, or your phone, I want you to pull up your grandkids. I want you to pull up your children. 
I want you to think about your parents. I want you to think about your siblings. If you got their pictures and, and their information in your phones, I want you to think about everybody that's in your life who could use your support if you ever had the mentality and the motive to really make money, not just to have more, but to really make money to help more. That's what I want you to think about. And I want you to get rid of all the excuses and I want you to adopt all the reasons why you should have a mentality for making money and a motive for making money. And here's the third M for making money. And it is a method. It is a method. Because if you have a mentality for making money, if you have a motive for making money, you need to attach the mentality you have and the motive or motivation you have uh, for making money to a method for making money. You've got to have a method. Another word for method is a strategy. So you not only need goals, but you also need a game plan. So now you set a goal. This is what your method is about. If you have a mentality for making money, if you have a motive for making money, and then you get to the place where you have a method for making money, your method is your strategy. This is your how-to because your mentality may be your why. This is my why. This is why I want to make it to the top. This is why I want to succeed. This is why I want to be wealthy. This is why I want to own my own businesses. This is why. And then your motive is your what? This is my reason for waking up every day and grinding. This is my reason for pushing the envelope and getting me and my family to the next level. The third thing is you need a method. Now, how do you develop a successful method for making money? I just told you, number one, number one, you have to set a goal. You have to set a goal. You have to give yourself a timeline for when you want to accomplish what you want to accomplish. All right. So let's say, for example, this is March. You're getting ready to go into April. Let's say if you your method is made up of a goal and a game plan that you say by the end of December 31st, of 2018, here is what I want to accomplish in terms of making money. You got to have a dollar amount. You have to be able to identify with what you want to have by the time you want to have it. And then once you set that goal, you now need a game plan. What exactly am I going to do every day, not five days a week because you work on a job? Not, 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 not every other week because you get paid every other week. That ain't going to be enough. If you, if you want to make money, you need a mentality to make money. You need a motive to make money. And the third M is you need a method. That means you got to set a goal. You got to set a date. And when you set that date, you, you, you identify exactly what you want on that date. So if I want $10,000 by December the 31st, 2018, I'm going to come all the way back to today. And I'm going to decide today, what do I need to do every day of every week of every month leading up to that goal that I set so that I can hit that dollar amount. And once you set that goal, you then implement a game plan. You figure out all the details of what you need to do to begin mapping you towards that goal that you set by that specific date, because that's your mentality. That's your motive and that's your method.